Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a block that is called Ant. So, for that I chose this again. It is a fat quarter bundle from Walmart. And I chose these two for this. So to start with, I have two squares here that are four by four. Four inches by four inches. So what we're going to do is I have them stacked up and we're just going to cut them corner to corner. All right. And then we're going to take them and fold them in half. Get my pressing mat. We're going to fold them. I'm just going to stack them all up together. Roughly. We're going to fold them in half. On the side we cut, we're going to fold that point in half to find a middle spot. And I'm just going to press that right there for a minute. Just enough to get it in there. So for the next piece, I have the other one, which is five by five. And we're going to line them up. So we're going to take the folds. We're going to do opposite corners. We're going to line these up. And you want the folds to match up, which would also make your point. Going down, it should go right into that line. So we're going to pin that right in the middle there. Spin it around and we're going to do this side. Line them up right on there. Pin it and I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and sew it right down through and I'll be right back. Sewn the, or yeah, sewn those. Move that. We're going to press them open. I'm sorry. You know what? I skipped a step. On this one, on this block, I folded it in half and I pressed the corners there and then I did the other one and pressed the corners there and I was, I had already done that. I'm so sorry I didn't show you. But all you do is fold it in half completely. I'll do it on this. So this one, you would just fold in half until your corners matched up there and then you would just press right there. And right there and you'll get your creases sorry I already had that done I should have waited to do it but I I didn't I'm sorry so this then you're just gonna line those middle pieces up again the creases in the middle there flip it around and do the same and then we're gonna sew down those and I'll be right back Okay, we sum that up. Now you'll have a nice little square here. Now, I don't always trim these, but I am going to trim them for this so there's less bulk. So what I'm going to do is I take the quarter inch line right there, that dot right there on the quarter inch, and I'm going to line that up right there on the corner of the white piece or whatever color you choose. And I'm just going to trim that off. That's going to give me a nice straight side. Then I'm going to move it around and do it on all four sides, except for now I'm going to line up that dot. And I'm also going to line up a straight edge down here because I already cut it, so I know it's straight. So again, we're going to do the dot and the straight edge. Shouldn't have too much to cut off. There you go. I'm going to move this to my pile. So the next pieces are pretty easy. You'll need four of each. You'll need four two and a half inch by two and a half inch squares. And those are going to go in your corners. Just like that. And then you'll need four of your white or whatever color you choose, four of my white that are two and a half by six and three quarters. And to figure that out, I just measured this side. So they're going to go right here. So then you're just going to sew these two, these two, and these two together. And I was actually working on two different ones of this, so I've already done that step. So it's this and that. 
and that. And then you'll sew your rows together and we'll just pin them like this. And match up the seams there. And I'll tell you what I do on this one. Now I pinned it on this side, but what I do is I'll sew it from this side and to get my point, when I go through here, I'll make sure I go right over that cross right there. And then when you, and even though it's a little less, this one came out a little uh, wonky, but even though it's a little less than quarter of an inch there, it's still going to have the point if I make sure it goes over there, which is the goal. So let me pin this. And then I'll go sew them all together. And we'll see what it looks like. So I will be right back. All right, sewing it together. We're gonna press it to this side, the outside. Because this one turned out pretty good. The pink one, not so much. But I'll let you see it if you want. I don't know what I did. If I measured wrong or I cut wrong or what happened. But there's that side. All right. There you have it. It is called aunt or aunt however you say it there's that one and there's that one i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you like the block i hope you try it and love it and i'll see you in the next video have a great day bye sorry i forgot to tell you it does make an 11 inch block if you wanted to know that so now i will see you in the next video have a great day